Good afternoon. It is Friday afternoon. Um, about 2.30. Anyway, the combine, still I ran for about an hour today. And then it messed up, so. We're on day like number nine or day 10 of combine breakdown. I know everybody's sick of hearing about it, but I think, I think next week, first of next week, Monday or Tuesday, I may have a, may have something figured out to, um, to go ahead and solve the combine issue for good. So tune into that video uh, next week, first of next week. Um, that will be pretty exciting. Uh, this is a farm down here we call Blackwell's Bend. And um, as you can see, we got soybeans down here. Um, Three-fourths of the place is corn, and then a fourth of it's beans. But they 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 struggled all year. Um, didn't get the rains when they needed it. But they've come on and and they've really started growing the last last month here. These are Pioneer. I think 53x9. Or I'm not sure what variety. I mean, what what the exact variety is, but I know they're Pioneer. But, I don't know if you can see. But they, uh, I think they're going to cut pretty good. Um, at the beginning of the season, I didn't think that it was going to be very good at all. But I think they're going to be all right. And uh, They just got, I think two days ago, got a... Uh, like an inch and a half rain, which was perfect for them. That's what it, that's what they needed. But came down here to check on the corn. Uh, the corn. That's where I'm coming next. And the main thing, I'm gonna fly my drone to check for uh, morning glory. Well, we got some worms in the soybeans. Just walked through there, and um, this was this is what was on my pants. There's another one. Got another one right here. And another one. That's one way to check for worms in your beans. Just walk through your field and then look at your pants, I guess. Starts climbing the climbing the corn stalk, and then it'll go over and it'll attach to another one. And if you get a lot of these, it, it'll start breaking over the. They get so heavy they'll just break over the break over the corn stalk, and when your header goes through there, it just man, it just chokes it all up. But, this corn, it's gonna be all right. It's gonna be nothing, nothing to brag about. I don't think, but but it should be okay. But boy, it is really dry. Corn stalks have really dried. It's probably moisture on it. Probably 
if I had to guess, it's probably close to 16%, 17%. Um, it's time to get it. One other thing I was going to show you, um, what we have on our pivot, uh, it's pretty neat little software that I've had for a couple years and I love it. But if you have a farm a long way from your house or your shop and you have irrigation on it and you, you want to know if it's running or be able to keep a watch on it, um, there's a company out there that's called AgSense and they have software that you install on your pivots and stuff and it's pretty neat then you download an app and you can look at it all through your app but i'll show you right here it's worked great for me um i hadn't hardly had any issues out of it and um saved me a lot of time like i've got it on a farm that's 45 minutes away from my house 45 minutes away from our main shop and if we want to check on it just get on your ipad iphone check on it is it running yes it's running or is it off you know it saves a lot of time not knowing if it's running or not because you can get behind it. As soon as you cut it on and leave the farm, it could cut off five minutes, you know, after you leave and you come back two days later and it's been off for two days and you're already two days behind on watering. So it, it can become a big issue uh, not being able to keep track on it. What we were having to do is drive over there every single day just to see if it's running and go back and the next day go back and just so this eliminated that but i'll show you um you go right here and here's all here's our pivots in a tall gun you see this one's running and you just click on it tells it this is the pivot it tells you which way it's walking and it tells you it's water in the blue right there then you can see uh it's going in forward uh that's the pressure but that's the that's not the real pressure at the base of the pivot that's out there on the end tower uh it's watering 0.64 tenth inches so it's watering six tenths and uh, you can also cut it off whenever you want. Just hit that button and cut it off. It's got neat stuff right here. Uh, if you wanted to cut it off at a certain angle in the field, you can go ahead and set that angle. It'll cut it off. If you want to reverse it um, at that angle, it'll re it'll reverse it. It'll, you can do all that from your iPad. <laughs> video for the day um, uh, you can see on the video with the drone I flew in and zoomed in on some morning glories that look pretty bad but I don't think it's it's just right there in that one area of the field so I'm not gonna get the airplane to do anything cuz rest of the field looks okay the rest of them they're all right so but anyway I'm glad I flew it make sure I, the whole field didn't look like that but um check out the video monday or tuesday uh got something big coming so check it out hope y'all enjoyed it and uh i am out for the weekend